What's going on? I'm Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master App, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you mindset secret number seven. But before we get into that, you know the routine, let's anchor ourselves in the present moment with a moment of presence. So together, let's take a deep breath in through the nose, in out through the mouth. Allow your shoulders to drop and relax, your face to soften, your eyes to close. And all we need is that one moment to get back into the present, to anchor ourselves so we can receive the message and then really be awake and aware enough to take action on it after you receive it. So the message today, the secret is, repetition is the mother of skill. Now I'm sure you've heard this before, right? But today I really wanna put it in your mind at a deep level and really explain how this works because when you hear repetition is the mother of skill, you're like, oh yeah, I've heard that thing before. But I wanna explain it to you in a way that really makes you grasp it and want to take action on it, feel motivation to take more action because really the concept I'm sharing with you today is super exciting and it really puts all the power and control back in your hands. So here's the deal. Our brain is firing with electricity. There's these different electrical pulses that are happening, these synaptic connections that are happening within our brain at all times. And so when they happen at first, they're, they're pretty weak connections, right? So when we do things for the first time, that's why they're difficult, because they're very weak connections. But over time, if we continue to make those same connections over and over again, for example, let's say shooting a free throw if you're a basketball player, and you use that same form over and over and over again. That's why you know Michael Jordan can do that famous free throw where he closed his eyes and he made it, because he wasn't using his conscious mind to shoot the free throw, that was all happening on the subconscious level. So the way that works is that when those connections are constantly made on a consistent basis with the same form, there's something called myelin sheath, which begins to be wrapped around the synaptic connection. And so with time, more and more layers get wrapped around and that firing happens faster and faster. So no longer is it gonna be a struggle to do something like shoot a free throw or throw a punch if you do boxing like me or, or anything, you know, on a, or to play an instrument. It's all happening on the subconscious level because those connections are being made so fast. And the only way to wrap that myelin sheath around the connection is by getting repetitions. So that's why you maybe heard of the 10,000 hour rule. It's not necessarily gonna take you 10,000 hours, but the whole point around that rule and the concept is that it takes many, many, many repetitions to get those uh, synaptic connections to be firing so fast that you can operate and play at such a high, high level. And now we're talking about everything. It doesn't matter what you wanna get good at. This applies to literally every aspect of your life. Anything that you feel like, I'm not good at this, it's just because you don't have enough repetitions to improve your, your ability to take action in this area. And so of course there is a genetic ceiling for many of us, right? Like I'm not gonna be throwing down monster tomahawk jams because I just don't have that, that athleticism and even though I'm 6'2", I'm still not quite tall enough um, with my genetics to be doing that. But if I wanted to become a master of shooting free throws, I could definitely do that by doing finding number one, the perfect form of a free throw, at least for me, and then repeating it over and over and over again. So any of those people that you admire, musicians, athletes, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, you name it, whatever you're into personally, those people are so good at what they've done because they've made that connection so many times. And there's so many layers of that myelin sheath that they don't have to constantly think, oh, I have to do this, or if I'm shooting a free throw, I have to move my elbow in, no. It's just automatic, it happens on the subconscious level, so their being is doing the work and they don't have to think about it because we all know the conscious mind's pretty weak, right? It processes around uh, six bits of information per second versus our subconscious over 40 million bits. So we wanna move all these skills to the subconscious level so they're automatic and we don't have to think about them because thinking is not where we're best as human beings. All right, so let me check my notes, make sure I covered everything I want to talk about today. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. So really what you need to do, if you want to make yourself great at anything, you need to decide what that is, you need to find out what good form is, and then you need to put habits in place to become great 
at whatever that skill is. So if you're someone, like I'll come back to the basketball analogy because it's a really easy one. If you're someone's like, okay, well I wanna get better at shooting free throws, then you need to put habits in place that shoot free throws with perfect form at least you know 200 times a day, five times a week. And so you schedule on your calendar and like from you know, three to 4 p.m., this is when I do this, or however long it takes, I don't shoot free throws very often. So you need to get it scheduled on your calendar so it becomes something consistent and we can turn that into a habit because we want it to be something that you just do, you don't even think about it anymore. And working with professional athletes in my field, seeing a lot of professional boxers, I noticed they're not thinking to themselves, I need to do X, Y, and Z to throw a punch, or I need to uh, block a punch in this way. All that stuff happens on the subconscious level because they've had so many repetitions and that myelin sheath has been wrapped around so many times. So if you wanna become a master or whatever it is you're working on right now, I highly recommend for your homework today, to decide what habits need to be put in place that are gonna repeatedly have you take action so you can build that skill. So you can decide for that in yourself, go do the thing. If you want help with um, visualizations, uh, the B Meditation app, my app, has a lot of those in there. So if you wanna check that out, you can download it for free. It's linked in the description below, available for iPhones and Androids. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm gonna to continue to release these mindset secrets and a lot more fun and interesting information that you guys ask for. So if you have any videos you really want, drop them in the comments below. And I'll be sure to take those into account before I make my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. Catch you in the next video.